Hey everybody, I'm testing out the new uh, screen recorder I got for the Shield. For everybody that did the uh, update to Oreo 8 and the 7.0.2 Shield experience, we all know. I mean, it's it's I I don't mind it. It works slick, and you can customize the you know the channels you have, or you can go get the uh, side load app launcher from the play store for like a dollar or whatever or you can use the how launcher I'm gonna use this TV launcher version 3 I'll put it in the description underneath my video I, I it used to be an app toy but I can't find it in there now and it used to be an APK time but they have the TV launcher version 2 but I like this version 3 but just experiment with launchers that will run side by side but I also found this lean back shortcut to, so you can have chrome on there too but if you add apps there's only a certain certain apps that you can add because they're not compatible but if you go into the settings some of the apps you might have to open this way like these uh these speed testers i know for sure and then like chrome and whatnot so if it's not compatible compatible with Android TV, it's not your. It's just like the lean back launcher. You have to get the TV app repo, and then make shortcuts, just like this Chrome shortcut. But it, I didn't do the TV app repo, because if you make a shortcut, it's gonna make two of them and blah 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 whatever. So you can either get the TV app repo, make a shortcut that'll go on here, or what I'm gonna show you is this TV launcher. It's totally. You can. I made all these sections, my TV players for my paid TV, my paid subs, movies, Morpheus and Terrium, that's all about, I, that's all about, that's all I need. Uh, games, I got RetroArch and I'm just about 7,000 games on here. Uh, the, the, the utilities, my Ada 64, my recorder, my ES File Explorer Pro, screen rotation, speed testers see the speed testers are right there now so uh, that's where on utilities so Cody and forks is all of the Cody's I ain't got many in now APK stores and browsers my APK time app toid Chrome file link play store Firefox fire DL puff and browser and then this one I just made miscellaneous to show in my last video um, manage sections I, I showed this but I showed you how to put it to sleep and then I uh oops cancel that cancel that name oops name tab I wonder if that's cancel that back to sections oh dang it miscellaneous name all right so you just go in here and you name it whatever whatevs and then tab down spacebar save back to sections and then also you can change the color whatever color you want the icons to be if they don't have their own icon so back to main menu back to home screen so then you can just start add application and then I'll take it all your applications I don't have too many on mine so but that's how that works so, but see this purple if it doesn't have a full icon then it's gonna be whatever color you can choose whatever color and then also I don't I downloaded an image you can kinda of briefly see it there but application wallpaper I turned it on I don't know change wallpaper I'm gonna go to my gallery I downloaded this so I don't know why it's not Oopsie. I don't know why it's not saving. Setting wallpaper. So 
and now it should be see but it's not back there I don't know why but see you can see it watch this when I go into these settings you can see it for a brief second there but I don't know why I don't know what the deal is theme you can change your theme select the icons grid columns you can go for you know if you got more and you want to see more across it you know, I'll, I'll go for but then you when you can go to settings and you can go to system settings right there or sleep now and or just go through all your settings here but I don't know I don't even have uh, the animation scales turned off or anything and I this thing has been running smooth but you can totally just bypass it and just bypass that launcher if you don't like it and hit your home button have your TV launcher there go right back to it as soon as you turn it on just boom if it bugs you that much just do something be creative and do something else with it but it doesn't bug me at all I mean it, it's it's smooth I don't know if it'll record these live channels but that's loud but yeah I mean it's it's smooth I don't have my I gotta refresh my guide on this that, if you use TV IRL with the live channels app TV IRL is still in beta mode so you have to refresh it when you start seeing the no program information it has nothing to do with any service it's just that the app still in beta mode but you gotta love it I mean you can do picture in a picture so then you still got your picture down here in the corner while you go mess around <laughs> all right that's long enough I'll put the uh, I'll put the link to my TV launcher version 3 in the uh, and then you just hold your home button oh you can't do that Oh, up top here. So we can just stop that picture in a picture. That's if you use t the live channels. I also have my locals with that uh, USB. Anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. You don't need to know my life story on what I do with the shield. But I just wanted to test out my screen recorder, see how that works, and then show you guys the TV launcher for another option instead of you know you turn on your shield or wake it up from sleep mode have your TV launcher right there and then you can bypass it if you can get a if you can figure out how to get the background to stick I mean that'd be awesome let me know if you do but alright that's long enough love you guys peace out happy screen streaming don't forget to like and subscribe alright love you guys peace out